Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowind. Today we are unboxing the Lenovo Flex 5. Uh, so this is a 15.6 inch um, device. It's got a 1080p display. Core i7 U series processors. So um, you're not getting the same uh, level of power that you get from, say, uh, Dell XPS 15. But it should be a convertible. You can see that it has the, um, Lenovo's 360 degree hinge, not not the watch band hinge that we see on some other devices. Um, like I said, U-series processor, it's got an N NVIDIA uh, GTX 940, which um, is pretty standard for a lot of laptops out there. Uh, this one's 1080p. I do think they offer a 4K model as well. All right, so you can just open this up. Nice big laptop. It's not too um, it's not too heavy. It's not too thick. Um, you'll get more power. How do I put this? That you'll get more power out of um, out of the the GTX 940 than you would for the uh, Intel uh, Intel HD Graphics 620, which is what you would normally get with the Core i7 that's used in this, which by the way, it's Core i7-7500U. Um, if it was the 7560 or the 7660, you would get something like, uh, you would get the Intel Iris uh, Pro graphics. All right, so we can see it's booted up. Uh, looks nice. It's, um, like I said, it's 1080p, which um, personally I'd prefer 1440p for something with um, of this size. You can see over here we have HDMI, USB, um, USB-C, which um, should be able to use for charging. Uh, we have a, a, oh, looks like this is the charging port right over here. Um, also, we have a headset port. And then over here, we have another USB port, SD card reader, and a power button. And um, that's about it. Um, like I said, 360 degree hinge. One thing it doesn't have that you'll notice, um, when we fold it back, the keys don't retract. This was something that, um, if you if you quote my review of the ThinkPad X1 Yoga, that was that was one feature that I really loved about it, is that when you fold the <laughs> when you fold the display back, the keys retract into the device, so it's just flat. And when you're holding something like that, and you're holding it like a tablet those keys just kind of get in the way I mean it's not it's not the biggest uh, issue in the world it's not it's probably not something that most most people even notice that have convertible devices but I just thought it was a cool feature that Lenovo does and um, I'd like to see it implemented on all their products to be honest and um, obviously you have different form factors with a 360 degree device like this uh, this is, would be tent mode, so you can set this up, watch a movie like this, um, and you can fold it. You can, obviously, you can fold it any way you want, but um, there's generally four fact, four form factors that they, that they look at. This is another one where the keyboard is just face down. And again, this is pretty much uh, <laughs> good for the same things as uh, the tent mode. Um, and uh, that's about it, really. Um, I'm going to be curious. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever used the GTX 940 that um, you see in a lot of laptops that have dedicated GPUs, but they're not really uh, big on the on the power department. Like, it's not a gaming laptop. It's not like the Dell XPS 15 that has the uh, quad core HQ processor and the GTX 1050. Uh, this is more. This is the mobile G, GPU. So um, I'm kind of curious to see what what I can actually do with it. You see, there is some. Uh, some bloatware down here because we can see that uh, McAfee is installed, which I don't think anybody wants. Um, most of the other stuff, though, is uh, pretty standard, other than uh, McAfee, most, all the UWP stuff. That's that's stuff that comes from Microsoft, and then uh, the Lenovo, uh, the Lenovo Companion stuff that's up here. That's for updating drivers and stuff. And just before we wrap this up, let's get this out of the way and take a look at what else is in the box. Because there's a, obviously we have, we're going to have a charger in here. And like I said, it's a, a standard charger. 
I, I don't know if the, if the USB-C port will work for charging. I hope it does because I, I really appreciate devices that have that, that standard charging port. I mean, if you've been following along with my reviews and stuff, there's, um, I've got a lot of Lenovo laptops right now. I got the Legion Y720, the Y920. Um, I, I just reviewed the ThinkPad X1 Yoga, the ThinkPad X1 Tablet, and um, th this is the third different type of charger that, that I've received. And um, I've got another one coming too, uh, another uh, ThinkPad Yoga. And by the way, Yoga is is traditionally Lenovo's brand for the 360-degree hinge. I'm not sure yet how the Flex differs from that, and um, that'll be something I'll uh, have to learn about. By the way, one thing that I, I do like about this charger is that it's all one piece. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, the power cord and the power brick and, and just having two pieces that have to plug into the device. So that's helpful. Again, anything else? I think that's about it. All right. We have a keyboard, fingerprint reader over here, touchpad, NVIDIA GeForce, um, and a uh, seventh generation i7. Um, like I said, this is a dual core U series processor. So uh, I'm going to be interested to see uh, what, what we get later on this year because we know that, that the U series processors from Intel later on this year are going to be uh, quad cores. So uh, yeah, but that's all we got for now. So I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.